Hello, good morning, you beautiful human beings. I hope you are well. Right now, it is 6 a.m. It's bright and early, and I'm getting ready to film a workout video for you. If you don't know, I used to upload my workout videos here on YouTube, but now I upload them all over on my Instagram. They're all on my IGTV, and I put up about one a week. So head over there if you want to do my real-time follow-on workouts. And my plan, my grand ambitious plan, <laughs> was to film like a really intense full body cardio core workout today. That's not gonna happen because I woke up and my legs are dead from a workout I did yesterday. So I'm gonna film a low impact, beginner friendly, no equipment workout, I think. So I just need to plan that. That's why I've got my laptop here. I need to plan that workout, drink my BCAAs, and then hit the gym and film that for you guys. So yes, I am drinking BCAAs. I'm not like a regular BCAA drinker. I actually drink them more for the flavor because they taste so bloody good. <laughs> they taste unreal. So they literally taste like candy. And who doesn't want candy at 6 a.m., you know? I'm living my childhood dreams. So if you don't know, I am an ambassador for my vegan brief disclaimer here. And right now I'm having the my vegan BCAAs and raspberry lemonade. You have to get this flavor. This flavor is the bomb. It will change your life, okay? I love it. I just love it. It's a really nice thing to sip on pre-workout. I mean, I'm not gonna be doing an intense workout, but you know, it makes me happy and that's what matters. So I will leave my discount code for my vegan down below in the description box. It will get you a mahoosive discount. I'm also wearing my protein kit and my code also works on my protein. So if you want to get any of my protein active wear, it gets you, I mean, I can't say the precise discount because it changes, but it's usually roughly around 30% off. So yeah, check it out. And now I'm going to take you with me for the whole day. I don't really have an exciting day. I'm literally just like at home doing bits and bobs. I am going out once for coffee with a friend, um, but the rest of the day I'm just at home, but I thought I could show you what I get up to, give you teeth updates, give you house updates, show you what I eat show you the workout, show you all that good stuff. So it's gonna be a fun Thursday. Let's get crack a lacking. All right, the gym is set up and ready to film. Let me show you how I do it, how I do my Instagram workouts. So this is the background that you guys will see when I'm filming. I train on this mat. I have the workout written up on the whiteboard in front of me. And then I have a iPad down here, which is the timer which I use. I use the app Seconds. And I am looking at this, which is my tripod with my phone on, hello. And over here, I have my laptop playing some royalty free music from Epidemic Sound, which means I can have music in the background of the workout. So yeah, that is the setup for my filming. Hello friends and welcome to your low impact beginner friendly full body workout. So the first exercise is going to be squat from side to side. Okay, I have just finished filming that workout 14 minutes and 30 seconds later. So it was short and sweet, but I got my heart rate up and I feel much better for it. And hopefully you guys like it when you see it on my IGTV. I think that's gonna be my workout for the day. I don't think I'm gonna do anything else because yeah, I've trained the last three days in a row and they were quite intense workouts. They were all like 30 to 40 minutes, but quite intense full body blasts. So I think today, just do that and then chill out for the rest of the day and maybe I'll get back to doing a more intense workout. No, I won't do it tomorrow because <laughs> I'm driving to the Lake District. But I'll be hiking this weekend. I'll be hiking this weekend and that'll be my workout for the rest of the week. <laughs> Bella Boo, I love you. Bella Boo. Look at my girl. Look at my little girl. My little fluff nugget. I love you so much. So for brekkie, I'm gonna have an all plants mango and turmeric chia pot. 
I do work with all plants, but this video is not in partnership with them. Um, I was a paying customer before I worked with them. But yeah, I love their stuff. So I'm gonna have this little mango turmeric chia pot. And I'm gonna top it with some berries. Berries in summer are just so much better, aren't they? Because they're grown in England and they just taste fantastic. And then some sunflower seeds. And so we pop some nuts on top. Love a good nut. Love a nut. Let's do some pecans and some pistachios. Lovely. I think I'll also put some peanut butter on. And that is my brekkie for today. An Ochi Chia mango turmeric pot with berries, nuts, seeds and peanut butter. And I'm going to go and eat it outside, sat on the steps. Because I want to get my morning light in my eyeballs. Hello! So I've showered, I've freshened up, I've put my heatless curls back in because even just having this in for an hour, I'll pop the link down below to the tutorial that I use, even just having this in for an hour just adds a bit of texture to my hair. So I have just put my base on and my base that I'm loving right now is by Terry Brightening CC Serum. My friend Steph recommended this to me, Steph Ellswood, you might know her, she's a legend. Um, and she said this is amazing and I love it. It just is like super lightweight, like a really gentle tint. And then if I need extra coverage, I just add some concealer like under my eyes and wherever my pigmentation is. And uh, yeah, I love it. So I just get this and I rub it into my skin with this and it's fantastic. So I will leave that link down below and I'm gonna pop on some liquid blush now. I literally just like put a pump on my cheek like that. Get a flat top brush like this and just blot it into my cheeks. So I will finish off my makeup now and then I will talk to you about my teeth because guys, I'm free from Invisalign, woo! <laughs> it is time for a teeth update. So I started my Invisalign journey in mid-December 2020 and it is now mid-July 2021 and I just finished. So how many months is that? Seven months? And it has been crazy how much my teeth have moved. I will insert some before and after pictures just here so you can see like how much my teeth have transformed from Invisalign. It's wild and I'm so, 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 so pleased with the results. But I have not finished my dental journey yet. And you might realize that I still have some attachments on my teeth at the very very back and that is because i am still wearing my final tray i'm wearing it at night as a retainer and i'm putting a whitening treatment in it at night this is a whitening treatment that has been provided by my dentist dr peter at harley street dental studio and he basically gave me this gel i put it in my last invisalign tray and i sleep in it at night and that kind of keeps my teeth in the right place and also i'm doing whitening for two weeks and then i'm going in it's not this week, is it? Next week, I'm going in next week to see Dr. Peter again. Or is it this week? When do I see Dr. Peter? It's next, next week, next week. <laughs> next week, I'm going to see him again. And he is going to work with me to plan my veneers. So if you don't remember from the start of my dental journey, I have six veneers along the top. I got them done when I was 19. I was young and ignorant. My only regret in life really is uh, getting veneers, but you know what, what's done is done. I've got to live with that choice that I made. So I'm going to get them replaced because they've been on for 10 years now. They've been falling off over and over again. My original set wasn't fitted very well. Um, so I am going to get a whole fresh set of veneers. And my meeting next week with him, my appointment with him next week, sorry, not my meeting, is to basically check how I want them to look, plan my veneers and look at like how weird make them look basically what do they call it like smile modeling or smile something i don't know what the word is but we're going to basically be looking at how my veneers would look and making decisions about the shape and the length of my teeth etc so yeah i am going to be going in and out of dental work with dr peter between now and the end of august and by the first week of september my teeth should be a hundred percent Finito. I'll have all my new veneers fitted, the whitening will be done, I'll have a fixed retainer on the back of my top and bottom teeth as well as the retainer that I sleep in at night and yeah that'll be my teeth. 
for the rest of time. Obviously I'll have to replace my veneers down the line again at some point, but this should last a good decade or more. So great news. So yeah, let me just come in real close, show you my teeth. Oh guys, I'm so happy with them. I'm so happy. Love them, love them. Look at those. You see how straight they are? Madness, madness. So yeah, that's the teeth update. Super pleased with them. And speaking of whitening, I'm now gonna drink a coffee, which is probably not the best thing to do while I'm whitening my teeth, but a life without coffee. It's not a life I wanna lead, guys. It's not a life I wanna lead. And while I'm downstairs, I'm gonna take you into the garden and show you how it's looking because the sun is shining today for the first time in a few days, so I might as well show you how gorgeous the garden is. I'm so, so, so grateful that the previous owners just absolutely nailed it and we have beautiful flowers blooming. So this is what the back of the house looks like and we have our dining set here. This dining set is from a company called Barlow Tyree, I think it is, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It is a material that can be weathered so we don't have to put covers on it, and over the course of the years it will just gradually fade and change colour, etc, etc. So it naturally weathers in the rain and the wind and all the conditions. And then over here, please ignore these, these need to move. Over here we have our main lounge area, we have cushions for this which are stored in a little shed around the side, and we have our barbecue. Right, let's look at the flowers, guys, because they are amazing. The dahlias are back. Oh, my favourite flowers are dahlias, and I'm just so, so, so grateful that the house has dahlias. So we have these beautiful white dahlias here. We have these little guys, which just came out a couple of days ago, and I'm very excited to see them bloom because they started off as like a really tight ball, and it just kind of exploded out, and now we've got all these little flowers, which I can't wait to see come to fruition. Over here in this corner of the garden we have these beautiful 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 orange flowers they're so vibrant and stunning. We have these beautiful pink flowers here. What's this purple one called? Is this called a, a budlia? A, a bumblia? A bum something something? I don't know but we have these beautiful purple ones which the butterflies love. This is my new favourite flower that literally only came up this week. I have no idea what it's called, so please do let me know down below if you know, because look at that. What a stunning, stunning flower. I am obsessed, like unreal. And then coming down this side of the garden, I love these. Mum told me the name of these, but I've forgotten them already. They're absolutely stunning though, literally gorgeous colour and last but not least check out these amazing white hydrangeas love those literally this garden is just full of surprises so many things are just coming into bloom out of nowhere so yeah that is the garden situation and in terms of indoor plants they're happy they're thriving charlie's here he just threw out a new leaf this week and has officially reached the roof <laughs> he is such a beast look at him He's just doing so well. So yeah, this is his new leaf and he has now reached the roof and he's just doing so, so, so well. He is a happy guy. Also, can we take a moment for the elephant ear? Because I have repotted her and she is throwing out yet another new leaf. So many new leaves going on on here. This is my second new leaf, I think, in two months. So I think she's thriving. I have coffee and I have a Jess. Hi. 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 Cheers, babes. It's been so long since Jess has been on my channel. Today is uh, all the time. You know, on the reg. But Jess is launching her app today, the day that we are filming this. So make sure you go and check it out because it's live right now. Ah. Hi. So just got home from seeing Jess and it is time to have some lunch. Bella, <laughs> are you okay, hun? Are you alright? Why are you up there? Hey, Fluff. Hiya. She's like, I'm going to ignore you, mother. Oh, I'm going to have a big yawn. <laughs> okay, right. You distracted me with your cuteness. Now, I'm going to make myself a really quick lunch because I'm absolutely ravenous. Have that and then um, 
crack on with some work for the afternoon. I also need to pack because I'm going to the late district tomorrow. So work and packing. That is the agenda. And here is my lunch. I literally just cooked it up in 10 minutes. It's a throw it all in a pan situation. I had some cooked quinoa in the fridge. So I popped it in a pan with some tomatoes and some mushrooms and some vegan pesto. And then I just cooked it all together and popped it on top of some lamb's lettuce. And yeah, that's my lunch. Doesn't look very appetizing, but I swear it's gonna taste fantastic. Are you enjoying the sunshine? My belly is so soft, oh my goodness. It's time for a house update because guys, we have made so much progress since I last checked in on a vlog with the house. For example, the walk-in wardrobe is 100% complete now. But I'm not gonna show you that today because I did just film a full tour of it. And that's gonna be my next room tour that comes on my YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that, that should be up in a couple of weeks. But just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek, look at that. That wall brings me so much joy. And I will now go and show you the main guest bedroom that we have almost finished. And we're also working on two bathrooms. So that is what is currently in the works. So let's go have a gander. All right, here is the main guest bedroom. You got a glimpse of this on last week's vlog, but let's do a full overview. So on the left here, you can see that these wardrobe doors have been panelled. We just need to change the handles on them. And then that's the door into the eaves, the door into the ensuite. And this is the decor for the room. Let me do a 360 around to the other side. It's so gorgeous. So, so, so gorgeous. Now we're not 100% complete in here. There are some small details to do. For example, adding some handles to the side tables, changing the handles on the wardrobe doors and the eaves doors, etc. But you get a look, you get a vibe, you get an idea of what we're going for. And as you can see, the base of the bed is also striped. There's like a nice little striped theme going on, as well as that beautiful rust headboard. I would have never picked a rust headboard for a guest bedroom. And that is why I'm so grateful to have Jojo, our interior designer, because like she makes choices that I would never make. And she always surprises me with how much I love them. So adore this room, adore this bench. This is from Fox and Monkey. And adore this little situation over here all the earthy vibes you guys know i like it to be earthy this is when things get a little bit chaotic let's go into the main ensuite they're working in there today but they're just on a break so i thought i could show you the chaos the chaos that is this room so <laughs> As you can see, this is definitely a work in progress, but we do have our tiles in our shower now, which look absolutely beautiful. We have panels on the wall, which have been painted this stunning dark green shade. We have a shell of a bath. We have a bathtub, but it's got all sorts of work stuff on top of it. And we have more paneling here. This is where the toilet's gonna go. The radiator's gonna go here. He just started painting on these panels on this side and let me flip around. And this is what the left of the entrance door looks like. So we just have some storage here. We're gonna probably just change the handles and paint these doors. So yeah, it is absolutely a work in progress, but I am very, very, very excited about it. And this is a little sneak peek of the sort of colors of the pipework and the taps and all that sort of good stuff that we're using. It's like a beautiful antique brass and I am obsessed. Let me also do a sneak peek of the tiles. Let me lift this up. There you go, that's a little tile sneak peek as well. And the last update for today is gonna to be the downstairs toilet, otherwise known as the cloakroom. And this is almost done. You can see the outline of the tiles underneath the protective layer. We have our new toilet, new little flusher, and check out the dark green panels, very similar to the bathroom upstairs, but we love this vibe. I just feel like the colour is really hard to come across on camera, but it is just like a beautiful dark green. And then check out this side, guys obsessed we have painted the existing radiator added a little light up here and then look at this sink it's literally just like a piece of marble absolute work of art and again we've gone with the antique brass fittings these are all from drench i think and they're absolutely beautiful so love this little bathroom and very excited to see it 100 percent completed and that is it for house updates. We are also just finishing off some final details in some other rooms in the house and then there will be more room tours coming to you. 
I just want all the rooms to be 100% finished before I film room tours because I don't want us to make some small changes and have to refilm something. So I want to get rooms finished and then film tours for you. So next one coming is the wardrobe tour. So stay tuned for that. And now I'm gonna settle down, do some work for a few hours and then pack for the Lake District. And I really wanna finish work early today so that I can sit in the sun because it's been really bad weather here in the UK and the sun hasn't been happening much this summer. So when it's sunny, I kinda wanna be out in it. So let's get a crack on. And so the packing begins. I am the queen, the reigning queen of overpacking. I'm a champion overpacker and I will overpack for this trip. So uh, I'm just gonna start. I'm only in the lakes for one, two, three full days and I'm definitely gonna pack a really big suitcase because uh, I like to be overprepared, okay? <laughs> I told you I'd overpack. So yeah, this is what is going to go into my suitcase for three days. To my defence, guys, this is a work trip. I'm going with a photographer and Natalie's coming for a few days and we're going to be shooting Stay Wild. So I have like the whole Stay Wild collection with me. And then I'm doing hiking shoots during the day. So I have loads of different hiking outfits with me. And then I have to have outfits before I go out for dinner in the evening. So, you know, I've got, to, I've got to cover a lot of bases here. I've got to do like hiking and swimming and meals. So yeah, I've got a lot of stuff with me, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me. It is quarter to seven and I have finished doing my emails for the day. I've finished packing. I have just finished for the day and the door is sliding away from me. Ah! <laughs> And I'm gonna start cooking some dinner. Ant is training in the gym, so I'm gonna try and get it ready for when he's finished. I'm thinking I might just do a shove everything in the oven situation because why not? Just an easy dinner. Easy dinner, minimal effort, you know. And here is dinner tonight. We've got a moving mountains burger on a bed of roasted goodness. We have sweet potato fries, two different color peppers, broccoli onion, and of course, lots of lamb's lettuce, my favorite greens. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So I have a feeling it's already been a very long vlog. I've vlogged a lot today, babe. Okie doke. So, we're gonna end it. If I did like it, what do I need to do? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And leave a comment. Yep. And click subscribe. For the next one. Yeah, exactly. Like, comment, subscribe, show some love. And I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing today's video. Sorry Ant didn't make much of a cameo. He's been at work all day, but um, I'm sure I'll be in the next one. I'm stressed, guys. I'm stressed about the house. <laughs> I love how you just throw that in at the end. Yeah, I wasn't sure if Aunt was even going to be in the vlog today because she was so stressed about the house. But you're going to be okay in time once everything gets done. Once everything's done in the house, I feel like you'll be a much happier man. Do you agree? Once everyone's out. Yeah. I mean, we've lived here. Almost Sorry. a year. I was supposed to finish the vlog, but we're just going to go on a bit of a tangent. So we've actually been in the house since last August and it's August this weekend. So it's almost coming up to a year of being in here and we still have contractors in the house. I mean, obviously we feel so grateful to be in the privileged position to have contractors in the house, working on the house. And we're so, so grateful for the work that we can do on our, on our home here in Surrey. But um, I mean, it, we can't pretend that it's not challenging at times to constantly have people in your space and even if you're paying them to be there, it is stressful to have people in your home all the time. Um, so I think we're really, really excited, aren't we, for the day when it's just me and you here with Bella. Yeah. Just our little family in the house. Hopefully soon. Hopefully it will be soon. We've just got to finish off these last two bedrooms and then bedrooms, bathrooms, and bedrooms. So we have the bedrooms and they're going to be low stress because it's just decor. The bathrooms is like contractors. Yeah. So once the bathrooms are done, then it's all plain sailing. It's all gonna be good though. Hey Bella. Hi hey, Bella. You're all right. But you are you're gonna be a happy man, aren't you, babe? Once, yeah. Once yeah. things are sorted. This is definitely a big factor in my life right now. And it's just a little bit stressed at the moment. Mm. A little bit stressed. A lot of bit stressed. Anyway, we're gonna actually end the vlog now. <laughs> have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed the update. <laughs> but yeah, no, have a good day. Or oh, sleep well. We'll sleep well. Bye! <laughs> that was an honest update. <laughs>